want to show you something today uh, which I call the COVID run and it's basically it's a bike ride which uh, takes uh, takes just over an hour or whatever I call it the COVID run is because during the COVID lockdown uh, I used to sneak out on my bike to get exercise we weren't allowed to go out of course but I used to sneak out and do this run because it's quite secluded there's a lot of forest trails and um, it kind of stuck with me over the time and I, I just want to run you through it so let's let, let's start off and let's go on the cold run. Hey guys welcome once again to Ian's Ian's vlog where is today yeah well we're actually going out on the uh, the famous COVID run well there's something which I put together during the COVID and it's really a beautiful little run it's all it's wonderful to have an e-bike isn't it when you're going over the bridges and the hills but there's a beautiful breeze out there which is taking away the 27 degrees of heat that we have at the moment so let's just enjoy it uh, <laughs> let's enjoy it let's take a look around the beautiful the most beautiful thing about this time of the year is when you're actually biking past cornfields and then just watching the beautiful landscape as they merge into sunflower fields that is lovely yeah because we're just navigating it uh, the whole of the way uphill and it's midday and about 27 degrees I've deserved a mouthful of free fresh Swiss spring water <laughs> ah beautiful <clears throat> oh well deserved you know normally You know, actually, I normally do this trip uh, as soon as I get out of bed before breakfast, um, which is usually about between seven and eight o'clock in the morning. And then it's a completely different experience, believe me. It's absolutely a different ride. Now it's beginning to pull with the heat. Yeah, we're more or less on the flat, which is a it's a nice change from climbing hills. So. A couple of minutes we're going to start going down. Uh, we have basically reached the top now, uh, the top of the landscape, and basically it's all the way down now. And um, it's really worth it because you know it's all forest tracks now, farmhouses, um, you know, just beautiful scenery, landscape. And I hope you enjoy it as much as what I'm going to enjoy. Come on, let's go. You know, on the way, or shall I say, uh, during the course of the, of the COVID run, you know, there are quite some uh, POI points of interest, which in my opinion are definitely worth pointing out. So let's have a look at some things that we kind of encounter on the way of this COVID run, which I'm so proud of, obviously. Um, yeah, we're outside a uh, beautiful farmhouse and the farmhouse was converted many many years ago into into a distillery of all, of all things um, and We're gonna show you now um, a piece of time gone by when the farm 
the farmer used to, the distiller used to go from farmhouse to farmhouse and distill the, uh, yeah, if it was fruit, if it was, it probably was fruit actually, it was apples, pears, um, plums, especially plums, and especially even so cherries for, for kirsch. And they would go round from uh, farmhouse to farmhouse and they, they would burn the fruit for, they would distill the fruit for, for the farmer. And this thing we're going to go and see now was, was, was the mobile distillery and it's, it's fascinating. Let's, let's go and have a look, yeah, come on. Completely brilliant, isn't it? You know, and, and the age, you know, it must be. I, want, I wonder if we can find a date. Can we find a date somewhere? Geneva, it was made in Geneva. Oh, look at the chimney there. Ah, old chimney. Ah, look what I found. I did find a date. Having said that, it's um, it's been written by hand. It's not engraved, but it is 1922. This place is called the uh, the Schloss Garden, and it's uh, it's a gourmet restaurant. It's not a hotel. It's a restaurant. And it's constantly, over the years, it's been awarded 16 points on the Gord Milo scale, uh, which obviously is a very high standard. And it, it's a place that I, I really like to come and celebrate uh, a birthday or, you know, Valentine's meal or something like that. Um, it is, obviously, it's in an old castle. And in the evening time, if you could actually see behind us when the, the castle walls uh, are lit up, you know, you could be sitting outside. Uh, you know, it, it's, quite a, it's, it's quite a romantic moment, it is. No, it's, it's a really nice place. The, the, the kitchen is absolute first class. Uh, the wine cellar is top, top, top notch. And the service is extremely graceful. And, and professional. It's, um, it's well worth a visit to come to the Schloss Garden in Schaeffler. Yeah, well, one of the great traditions of the, the Swiss countryside is the, the country pub, you know, which um, they're, they're, they're still alive and kicking. And a lot of places, you know, in the towns and in the cities, you know, they don't offer the kind of service and price quality ratio that these pubs in the country offer. And um, personal touch, lovely locations, and the, the bearers, which is where we are now, um, which is just on the main street in Holtikum, offers all those wonderful features, that, you know, that a country pub, you know, should, should offer. And that's why. I mean, the time now is quite late, late lunch, early afternoon, and there are people still on the terrace eating, you know, which is a good sign. So, yeah, th another place which is worth pointing out on the COVID run, on the point of interest, is the, the Baron in Altica. Great place. <laughs> Yeah, there are many points of interest along the way in the Covid run and here, slap bang in the middle of the village of Kulikun is this amazing thatched house. Um, I'm sure there's like a, a historical significance attached to the whole property there. I can't be bothered going onto Wikipedia and Google and, and giving you all that stuff, but take a look at that. It's, it's quite impressive. Um, Let's, let's have a look around. Huh? It is actually a, a village museum now. Um, so it should actually be, be open to the public, but again, I'm not particularly in the mood for going in there. This is a bike ride. It's not a, a tourist trip from village to village, but we can take another look around, especially at that magnificent thatched roof up there. Really, it's impressive, you know. Let's have a look. I 
I'm, I'm actually very grateful that we do live in an, in an area as beautiful as this you know you can you, you think you're basically um, straight from the front doorstep you know you're, you're out in the countryside uh, and there's no mountains <laughs> As we take another turn, we go slightly down the ramp, see the little bench there. And I often wonder why, you know, kind of old people are always sitting on the bench. And then I saw that view. sure how long we've been going um, but we are basically on the whole stretch now I mean you know we're not that close to home but it's, it's easily sailing now and we've got actually two nasty two nasty little hills to get up um, but they're those kind of hills and if, if you're a biking person if you're a biking kind of person you probably know what I'm talking about here but for every, every nasty hill where you go up, there's always a downhill. So, and that, that is the case of these, these two little hills that we have to climb. We get, a, we get an amazing downhill after them. I, I did mention something about one more hill. Don't we love hills? Ah, there we go. That was an uphill. Let's go down. Come on. you know this is this is what biking is all about you know getting getting attacked by a hill surprisingly and then having the last laugh the downhills are the best <laughs> yeah so basically we're we're now reaching the perimeters of Overenfeld which means that we're almost back in the village uh, so Hello. Hello. <laughs> yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that little video on uh, the COVID run, as I called it. It's not finished yet. We still got one or two images to show you before we actually get back home. Um, but this is probably one of the nicest stretches. Uh, it's pure forest land and some of the farmhouses that we're going to see in a minute. That's a die for. They're so beautiful. Let's take a look. Let's take a look around. Uh, Another downhill coming up. Ooh, happy day. actually in Oberenfeld and, uh, but that is now the perimeter of the village which gives us probably about another half a kilometer or so and that concludes the Covid run the 
COVID run um, altogether is the 16 kilometer, 16 kilometer ride with an elevation of, of 60 meters. Those 60 meters are probably in the first half, right, 50% of the ride. Um, because for the past eight kilometers or so, we've either been on the flat or we've been slightly on the downward gradient, apart from those two little nasty ones there, which we just encountered. So, <clears throat> Yeah, leave comments and if you did like the video please give us a give us a thumbs up and if you didn't like it give us a thumbs down at least at least I know you still watched it until the very end and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and yeah let's hope there's more videos coming up soon on different themes various themes on the Ian's vlog.